Best Renders Insurance in USA Millions of people live in rented space, whether they are renting a home or an apartment. Most renters do not believe they need to carry insurance. They assume it is the responsibility of the landlord. Renters insurance is available to protect the renter and their possessions. While the structure you are residing in may be insured, your personal property is not covered by the insurance held by the landlord. Renters insurance can offer protection in the event of a fire. This insurance will cover all of your material possessions within the structure. It is advised that all renters obtain some kind of additional insurance to protect themselves from losses. Consider the amount of money you have spent to obtain your personal property. This will allow you to determine if renter's insurance is beneficial. In addition, the renter's insurance will cover your items if they are stolen. It may also offer coverage if someone is personally injured while visiting. While the landlord's insurance covers this as well, you want to make sure you do not end up being responsible for legal fees for any liability lawsuit. Renter's insurance is the best way to completely protect yourself and your belongings. It is important to understand that the landlord's insurance only covers damage done to the property or the building. There are two different types of renter's insurance available. One is actual cash value. This is where renters can be reimbursed for appliances at actual cost value, minus depreciation. Replacement cost insurance will reimburse the renter the entire amount without depreciation being taken into consideration. Renters are not required to carry liability insurance. It is best to talk with the landlord and find out if their insurance policy includes liability coverage. If it does not, you would be better off obtaining your own policy. This will protect you if any damage is done to the property. Legal fees can quickly add up during a lawsuit. The liability coverage will ensure that your legal fees will be covered. Renters can also obtain medical liability, which will cover any medical costs that are incurred due to personal injury on the property. It is best to compare different quotes and find the coverage that will best protect you and your possessions. There are many different types of insurance available. You will need to decide what type of coverage you want as a renter and go from there. Many people think that they need to carry individual policies. This is a common concern when living with roommates. Many insurance companies offer policies that cover the rented space. This means that one policy will cover everything and it is not necessary for each individual to obtain coverage. If this is your situation, Make sure you let the insurance agency know you are looking for coverage that covers the rented space. Some tenants will require renters to carry insurance. Make sure you are aware of this when you are renting. There are policies available for each individual renter if you do not want the entire policy under one renter's name. To lower your premium cost, there are a few simple things you can do. Insurance companies consider safety risks. If you have deadbolt locks on the doors, you may be able to find a lower premium. In addition, non-smoking renters find that their premiums are lower because the chance of fire is reduced. Smoke alarms, carbon monoxide detectors, and fire extinguishers will also play a role in lowering a premium. Many renters make the mistake of assuming they do not need to carry insurance. It is a good idea to determine what the landlord has for coverage and then figure out if you want or need additional renter's insurance. Take the precautions necessary to protect yourself and your belongings. belongings.